Last week we only had one day to build a web app for a startup idea. It's a gamified app that teaches people how to code. Today we only have 24 hours to get 1000 people to sign up to it. Before we can go in hardcore marketing ninja mode, we need to be intelligent and we need to do some prep. First of all, in our previous video where we built the app, I realized that we actually never came up with a name and we didn't have a logo, which is a problem. We need a cool name because a cool name will help us with marketing, people will want to learn more. I want something heroic, but I also don't want it to be too generic like heroprogrammer.com. I want something a little bit more original. So I spent some time brainstorming and ultimately I landed on The Last Code Bender. It's a reference to the super popular cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender. It was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. Now we need a logo. I like logos that are simple so that it's easy to remember but still unique enough. The logo will just have Last Code Bender so we'll drop the the. And then I want to add some coding elements so we'll, we'll just add brackets and then add a little bit of style. And actually the word last, I don't like it that much when it's there, so we could drop it. Or we can just put it very small there on the edge. Okay, I think that works. What do you guys think? Alright, next obstacle, if we want to market the app, we need some kind of promotional material. I want us to make a badass video demo because the product looks exciting, so I think there is a nice way to show it in a video. The problem though is that we're limited in time and I want us to get to marketing as soon as possible today. Which means we cannot do something that is high production, we'll have to limit ourselves to a homemade style. And for it to work, we need to be creative and we need to be funny. I want to use the opening of Avatar The Last Airbender as a reference. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. The problem that our app is trying to solve is that learning how to code online is mostly boring, but we want to show it in a dramatic way. So what we're going to do is we'll show an evolution of software engineering throughout time, so how it started by just writing code on a piece of paper to where it is today. Long ago, our ancestors would learn how to code on pieces of paper. Then everything changed when the internet came. Technology was supposed to be the answer to make education exciting, but when we needed it most, it failed us. Next we present our solution, which is like a speedrun clip of our app. Many years passed and I've discovered a new way. A gamified learning platform called The Last Code Bender. The screen is divided in two. On one side you have the code editor and on the other side you see the game visual. In the first game, you're a hero programmer tasked to save your country from the threat of a new virus. Courses are designed so that each challenge you solve in the game actually teaches you a programming concept, from variables to conditional statements to loops and objects. What you see here is a prototype that was built in only one day. And although it's a start, imagine what it could soon become. And at the end, we leave the viewers with a hook and a call to action. Sign up for early access at lastcodebender.com to be part of the revolution. All right, perfect. Everything is coming together. We're about to get started with marketing. There is just one step left. We need a website. We're gonna go fast though. We'll build it with WordPress. We show our video demo there, some text and email signup form, and just a little bit of context about this project. I also wanna figure out a way to do referrals because if every new user who signs up brings a few of their friends, that's essentially the easiest way to grow. It's as if our users do the marketing for us. There is one tool I found called Prefinery. It allows you to gamify your waitlist. Essentially what it does is that when someone signs up, they're assigned a position. And if they invite more people in, they're able to climb on top of the list. So that sounds like the perfect tool for us. We'll create a system where the app is in private mode. So it's not available directly from the landing page. And we'll slowly let people in starting from the top of the list. So hopefully people start sharing it to climb the rankings. That's it. The preparation is over. The world is finally ready to witness our beautiful creation. Time for phase two of our master plan, Reddit. Reddit is a special place for idea validation and we already have a history there. That's where our idea first went viral. The problem is that Reddit absolutely hates self-promotion. Like if there's any sign that you're trying to promote your own product, it doesn't matter even if it's useful, even if it brings some value to the community. Mods are very harsh on self-promotion. So we'll get banned in some subs that's nearly certain or, or a post will be taken down. But that's a risk we have to take. Hopefully, if we frame it well and really show that there is value for the community, it will minimize the damage. First place where we're gonna post is r slash learn programming. This is where our post went viral, so it kinda makes sense to start there. For the title, I'm thinking of doing something similar to the post we had. It can just be learning to code online suck, so I made a game-like platform to do it differently. I think that works. 
Then for the body of the post, we'll start by giving a little bit of context. So we'll reference the previous post, we'll link the website, and then we'll give uh, some explanation about how it was built and some plans for the future. And at the end, we just ask for feedback. Okay, we're ready to post it. So now for the other subs, the strategy is gonna be a little bit different. I don't know them as well. So first we need to analyze a little bit what are the posts that go viral there and try to tailor our post based on that. So we'll sort by most popular of all time. There you see that the majority are actually images or memes. And sometimes you see some videos there. I think for us, the best is we have our demo video. So we're gonna just use that instead of using a long text like we had before. Let's try that. We're gonna essentially replicate this process for as many subs as possible. Now we have planted all the seeds, we just need to wait for people to react and post comments. Now in case Reddit doesn't work, we need a backup plan. So time to move to phase 3 of our master plan, let's go wild. We'll post it everywhere where developers hang out. So a couple of popular places are Indie Hacker, Hacker News, Twitter and Product Hunt. All of these are free so it doesn't cost us anything. But look guys, one hour in and we already have 20 signups. Good start. The very last thing we're gonna try in this video is one strategy that I usually don't like using. Facebook ads and YouTube ads. The reason I don't like using them is that I believe most of the time you can validate your idea and get your first users for free. So I prefer just doing that. But for the sake of this video, what I wanna do is I wanna compare the different channels we're using. So Reddit, different blogs we posted and paid advertisement like Facebook and YouTube and see which channel performed the best. So for Facebook, we're gonna create our page, set up our business manager account. Next, we'll configure our ad set. So essentially we wanna target anyone from 15 years old to 35 years old. They can live anywhere in the world and both genders. So we'll update the location, all of North America. Actually Asia, let's put Asia as well. We'll update the age like from 18 to, let's do from 15 to 35. For interest, we can add something like computer programming. Yeah, actually even web development, that's maybe more. What's nice about Facebook is that you can run the same ad on Instagram as well. The ad essentially will just be the demo video we have and that's it. Same will be for YouTube. And we click on publish. All right, so we'll have this ad running on Facebook and Instagram. Now we're gonna set up the same ad on YouTube. It's very straightforward, you just pick your video. We'll do one of the skippable ads that appear before YouTube video. We configure it, the country, the interest, the age, and then we launch it. All the work has been done. Reddit, Indie Hacker, Hacker News, Twitter, Product Hunt, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. All the seeds have been planted. We'll harvest the results in a few days. Will we find a forest when we come back? Or will it be a field of dead crops? Stay tuned. It worked. We crossed 1000 signups in the first 22 hours. And the signups kept increasing so I let it run for 2 more days to see how much more we could get. We'll break down the results channel by channel and at the end of the video I'll show you exactly the number of signups we're able to get. First bucket is Reddit, we made 7 posts which got 1462 upvotes and 107 comments. At first I was so happy, everything was going so well. But then 10 hours in, our post in the learn programming sub got taken down. It still managed to get 923 upvotes in that short amount of time, but then the trouble started to fall upon us. The next day, the mods unleashed their anger and took down 4 out of our 7 posts. I even permanently got banned from one sub without any warning. That was a big hit because Reddit was driving most of the traffic. It brought in 3500 people and 1033 signups. It took me just like 2 hours to craft all the messages and post them everywhere. That's it and everything was free. The next bucket is Indie Hacker, Hacker News, Twitter and Product Hunt. The reason why I'm grouping all of them together is because they all flopped. They brought like 34 visitors and 7 signups. It does make sense though because I'm not active on those platforms, I just came in, dropped our website and then left. I didn't do any work, it took me like 10 minutes to post our message there and that's it, so I didn't expect any results. Final bucket is the paid ads, so we have Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. We'll separate them into Facebook ads and Instagram ads brought in 368 people and 113 of them signed up. It only took me roughly 1 hour to set up and the cost was $19.83 which is very good. It's a cost of 18 cents per email. Then we have YouTube ads. It was behaving very strangely. It blew up all of my budget in like one hour. I think I, I didn't configure it properly. Anyways, though, it didn't perform that well. The ad got like 1400 views, but only brought in 23 people to our website and six of them signed up. The setup was very quick. It took me like 20 minutes and the total cost was $33.15. Now, if we combine it all together, 
we got a total of 3,925 visitors and 1,159 of them signed up. That's a 30% conversion rate on the landing page, which is pretty insane if you think about it. Because that's the kind of conversion rate an optimized landing page would get. But we only spent a few hours working on it. There is still so much to improve. Again, that just shows you a good idea makes everything easier. If you don't count the time I'm spending on this video, filming, editing, and all that stuff, you can really summarize the work in two days. One day to build the MVP, which is our prototype, and one day to set up all the marketing. That's it. Very low resources, very low budget. I didn't leverage any of my network. I didn't tell it to any of my friends. I didn't tell them to share it. Okay. I did post it on Twitter, but no one follows me on Twitter, so... I don't know if it really counts. I think it's safe to say that the contribution of that was negligible. The takeaway here is a good idea makes everything simpler. Even the name. I believe a lot of people signed up for the name because I got a bunch of messages about that. Of course, the idea has to be properly executed, but a good idea simplifies everything. If you want to know the exact process I used to find good ideas, and actually, if you want to see exactly how I found the idea for the last code bender, check out this video right here. And if you have already seen it, you can check out this one on the right. That's it. See you there. God bless.